so fancy. Oh, gosh. Okay, cool. Hey, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Or whenever you're watching this, give us some waves or put a five in the comments if you can see us. And uh, welcome to the Ashley Paulson and uh, James show again. Part two. Part dose. <laughs> hey, who here was here for the first time? Uh, put a one in the comments. And uh, Ben, this is going to be a fun day today. Sweet. We see so many old friends and everything, Ashley. And um, today is going to be a fun one. Um, I actually want to get into the meat because the, and let me tell you how today started, actually. It's a kind of a funny story behind it. Uh, so actually, I had no idea that I was going to train today because we have this chat room and uh, we're all trying to learn. We're all trying to grow, right? One of the biggest tips I've learned is if you want to succeed in life, go find smart people that are doing it and ask them questions. So Ashley Paulson, who, if you don't know, is the creator of the Slenderized System of Growth boards hey put a three in the comments if you are excited and you're thankful for ashley for doing everything that she does thank you ashley seriously let's change the game um and there was an ipa call um income producing activity call and ashley brought up this question this this thing that she did where she got into facebook groups and she was getting a bunch of customers so i sat there and i was like ashley i'd love to know how you do that and i threw it in the chat and i'm like guys we should do a Facebook group training. And I was expecting other people to do it. But who here knows, maybe that's a lesson in life, Ashley, that when we see a problem, it's not for someone else to fix, it's for you to fix. So here we are today, and I'm here to actually learn. I hope you have a notepad and a pen out because Ashley, I'm just here to, I, I, I want to pick your brain today. Is that okay? Absolutely. Absolutely. Super excited to be here with you all this morning. Absolutely. So Ashley, I think it's good because I know we have many different types of people of backgrounds and success levels and everything. Uh, some of us here have been crushing. And in fact, put in the comments, if you've been running the Slenderized system of growth and you've made any types of sales, right? Like put in the comments, how many boxes of drops have you sold, for example? Because like the numbers are crazy, 38 and 32 and 12 and four and 100. Man, dang. Four, congratulations. I just love seeing that there's numbers in there, right? Like, this is amazing. So there's a lot of different varying levels of success, Ashley. Some people are brand new. Maybe they don't even know what's going on. But um, And then we'll go into some of the expansion things. But um, can you share with us a little bit about just even your background, getting into applying this system? Why are you excited about what's happening now with this system, with your business? And what are you seeing even compared to before? Yes, absolutely. So for those of you who are brand new, my name is Ashley Paulson. Um, really excited for you guys to be here. We have 145 people on a Saturday morning. I don't know where you're at, but it's eight o'clock in Colorado. Okay. Like it's early. I know there's some people who are here, even from California, from Washington. Um, so literally congrats to you guys for showing up and being present. It's awesome. Um, but I have been just a little bit about my story and how I got to where I am. I've been in this industry for about eight and a half years. And when I saw the company, right, when I saw these products, it was from my mother and I was already taking a lot of the products that we had. And so I really was just like, I'm just going to redirect my spending. And my husband and I both worked in the oil and gas industry. So all of our eggs were in one basket, right? I was a single mom at a point in time. I've struggled with money financially and it's not a fun spot to be in. So I've always believed in creating something extra, always having another avenue of income in your family. And so really to be quite honest, and I can say this, uh, I didn't like mom was like, we're going to do this. Let's do this together. And Dr. Crystal Vance was actually our chiropractor. Um, my mom was a massage therapist. And so they worked hand in hand together, but we just jumped right into the business and what we created in such a small amount of time was based off of simplicity, which is exactly what we have here with the system of growth, right? I said that I've been in this industry for eight and a half years. I've learned a lot of things and I've had to unlearn a lot of things, right? Sometimes we just have to get out of our own way. And so um, in June of 2020, I actually ended up leaving my career in the oil and gas industry. I took a package to leave. Because I know what this industry and what this company and what our products can do for people. And I've been living this dream for the last three and a half years, 
right? Helping people with their health, helping people with their financial, meeting them where they're at. Um, and really just having our clean gold standard products was important to me because I want a product that's effective, that affects men and women, that helps people who are old, young, all in between, right? So really what we have here is such a blessing, but with the system of growth, like I said, I had to unlearn a few things. I had to get out of Ashley Paulson's own way. I had to get out of my own head and I just went all in. I was like, this is working. If it can work for them, it can work for me. So I jumped in really doing the Slenderized system of growth and following what the ladies were doing down in Florida. Um, a hundred percent. I didn't change nothing. I was like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Okay. So like tips to yourself, just get out of your own way. Sometimes get out of your own head, right? Some like being coachable and being teachable. Um, and really the end of June, a lot of you know that I hit my $10,000 savings bonus, right? And that's great, but it's such a huge team win. And I had my eyes set on that, like create yourself a goal, like create your week long goal, create your quarterly long goal, create, like create some goals for yourself. Okay. Um, and at the end of June is when I hit that bonus, but I was like, I'm going full in a hundred percent. Like I hit that bonus. It was great. Our team was absolutely incredible. Um, but I was like time for another gear. Right. And I truly went all in with the system of growth and simply started sharing. And I know we're going to talk about groups today. Um, and what I would encourage you to start with is getting in with the groups within your community. We always talk about building in your own backyard. We're so worried right? About what this team's doing or where they're building at, or they have people in South Africa and, oh my gosh, they just enrolled someone in Australia. Right. And we're like, why not me? It all starts right here. Like it truly all starts in your backyard. And so being a part of those communities, um, on Facebook. So like, and I'm going to talk specifically about one group today and I actually have a special guest. I'm so excited for her to be here. Um, and we'll get there, but I was like all excited. I was like, um, but I'm just going to talk about one group today. So go on Facebook and search the different towns around you. Like I live in Northern Colorado. So like Denver's close, but I don't want like, I'm focused on like the smaller communities. I say small, but they're still very huge. <laughs> um, well, I'm focused on like the community. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, if you can show me how to do this, I want to, so our objective today, everyone asked uh, is, find you're going to find a Facebook group hey, who here's down for an assignment that'll make you money right give me a wave or put a five in the comments um because I I, I want to I want to learn these skills because actually when you applied this I mean around how many customers do you think you got when you started to get into these groups um I've sold I counted it up yesterday I've sold 52 boxes out of this group 52 so boxes from one group mm -hmm. wow Okay, because you know when I actually when I hear this and I'm you know I look at the system of growth, this was my concern. I'm like, you know, I see how these other people can do it, and they have all these friends and family, and I'm a social recluse, like I'm like an introvert. We're both, you know, relatively introverted, and I felt like I could. I only knew so many people, but when I hear a story like you and what you're about to train us, I'm like, wow, there's an unlimited amount of people. Just some background, guys. Did you guys know there's two billion plus users on Facebook? And it's still the number one used social media platform compared to Instagram and TikTok and all these other things. So people are all hanging out here. You just have to find the right places to be able to go to. So this Facebook group thing, I'm going to do this, Ashley. So I'm going to, you said, search around your town. So am I just going to like this search bar or how am I yep. looking? Okay. Yep. So just do search Facebook um, okay. and then just like type a town close to you. So I'm not talking like a buy, sell, and trade, right? I'm like buy, sell, and trades. You might be able to get stuff in there, but I'm looking for like community groups. Like obviously I'm a woman, so mom's groups or women's groups or right. A lot of like, there's a lot of different things that you can focus on. Um, and each town might be different, right? San Diego's huge. So I'm like, so maybe if you scroll. Smaller one. So should I look for a subset? Like instead of the main city, is it more like a yeah. neighborhood? like that. Ah. San, Diego, 
San Diego's massive. So I'm like, I don't know if that'd be, I'm sure okay. they have a lot of groups there, but yeah. Um, so now go to groups over on the left. Groups. Okay. So guys go to the search bar, look for a town, click on groups, and then do I do anything with these filters so, or anything? Nope. I just leave those. So you can see there, it brings up Mira Mesa neighbors. It brings up, hmm. right. All of your, all of your groups are going to be different. Um, and I don't know if there's more, like if you scroll down, I don't know. Oh, there's a lot. There's a parents group. There's a small business. There's a, right. There's lots of groups. There's a mom's group. Um, so do that in, just pull up like a local area where you're at. Mm -hmm. And like I said, just go to groups and just scroll down. You can see that parents group, small business, Mesa moms, professionals, right? There's a lot of different groups around your communities that you might not necessarily be a part of. Mm -hmm. um, the buy, sell and groups, buy, sell and trade groups. Um, we do have a lot of those around here, mm -hmm. but typically in there, you're going to see people selling like couches and furniture. <laughs> so, <laughs> so not, you wouldn't recommend buy, sell and trade groups necessarily. You're looking for a community. Yes. Me okay. specifically. Yes. I'm not saying you can't go in those groups and you won't have success, but right. There's a networking and events right there at the bottom. Right. Mm -hmm. So just Mesa Ridge community. Like it's just one of those things where pull up and see what groups are in your community. Okay. So that's and exactly what I did. Ashley. So do you care if it's private or public at all? Uh, no, not so much. I mean, obviously the private groups, there's a little bit more control in there. I feel like from the admins, okay. more of a public group, people can just go in there. It's a little like, you're just going to get a lot more dynamics, I guess. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So guys, just so, for your information, there are two different types of groups. Private, you have to be, my, and I'll ask you this in a bit with your community, Ashley, but there's, there's rules typically. And then someone put in the chat, Kathy said, how do you make a pitch without violating rules? We're going to ask that in a yep. bit. So yep. private, you can get kicked out. Public, you actually can never get kicked out. So, okay. But your group asked you, so let's get back to where you did it. Are you able to even pull up that actual group itself? Uh, that's my, that's our secret group, James. Oh. I can't show okay, <laughs> <I'm just joking. laughs> I actually have the admin of the group on here. That's going to be my special guest. So we'll talk a lot more about okay. that. Perfect. Okay. So yep. you found the group and just it's so not, we know. it's not secret. I'm just saying like, it's no different than the mom's group that you have. So if you just take away some of the tips um, and start kind of doing some of the stuff that we train on today in there, you'll get some traction in there for sure. Perfect. So for your group, you looked for moms in a local town around, you joined it. And then okay. for yours, is it a private or a public group? It's a private. This one's a private. So you requested to join. Okay, cool. So you joined yep. this group and when you did this, um, did you only join one group or are you in like multiple groups? How did you do it? Um, I'm in a few. The reason really why, quite honestly, why I joined this group is because um, when we first moved to Colorado, we were living in a town about 30 miles south of here. And when we moved up here, I was like, oh, I want like just networking. Right. And it, it's just like getting to be a part of like those communities of where you're living at. Mm -hmm. Um, I probably, I'm not saying I wouldn't have been a part of that group when I was living 30 minutes South of here, but I more so just kind of got in these groups to see what was happening in those areas, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. Like I didn't go in there intentionally with doing my business. I didn't like, I more so was going into some of these groups of where I live, mm -hmm. um, just to simply like, see what other moms were doing, see what was happening in the communities. Right. And I think when you're joining these groups, you have to go in there with the Austin authentic authenticity of mm. you're not going to be selling in that group. Mm. When I joined this group, I did not go in these groups. Truly, honestly, I did not go in there wanting to sell my product. Mm. You have to be authentic and you have to create yourself in that group, mm. right? Like commenting on different people's posts, providing value to other people, right? I'm not in there just spamming my product. I'm not in there just getting it in there every time I can. And I think that's what's created the most success mm. is I'm not being spammy about it. No one wants to be sold. Mm. No one wants to be sold. They don't know your product any different than any other product that they see, right? They have, you have to give them value, but you have to build yourself in that community. So commenting on each other's posts, providing that value to other people in the group as well. Okay. So if we were to get like 
a, a formula or an expectation. I join a new group. How long do you think it would take for me to build enough trust before we actually start to promote something? We'll get into how you post in a bit, but. I actually kind of want to see when I joined this group, quite honestly, so you yeah. can see, like, it's not an overnight success thing. Hang on. Yeah. I don't know if I can see that or maybe my special guest can pull that up too, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah. Hang on. Sorry, I'm trying to pull it up. Oh, right. And guys, this is huge because this is where my mistake is. Let me tell you my mistake. So I heard about face. I've, I've had some success in Facebook groups, but especially with the Slenderized system of growth, the other day, I'm like, I'm going to find like 20 groups. I'm just going to start posting my photos in those. And guess what? I got zero. So I'm like, oh, this thing doesn't work. So it's never, one of my mentors said this to me, is that it's not that this doesn't work, it's that you don't work. So I got something wrong. So when I'm hearing this, I'm like, ah, so find a group. And it's very normal, right? Online business is just like in-person business because if you were to go to a community event, it, it, let's say it's the first time in the neighborhood, I'm probably not gonna bring my drops in day one and be like, hey guys, I'm selling skinny drops. You probably say hi, right? You probably make some friends. So what you're saying, Ashley, is be a normal human being, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So yes, and I I did just look this up. It literally says Ashley Paulson joined about four years ago. Uh, four years I've been in this group. Yeah. Yeah. Four years. Right. But I've made myself present. I didn't go in there with the intentions of selling people. I didn't go in the, there in the intentions with putting my product out every single time I can. Is that mm -hmm. something that like as conversations or as posts come up, we do? Absolutely. You, there's a time and a place for it, right? So don't be spammy, like still be authentic to yourself. You're in your community of people, right? Providing that value to people. So four years ago, I did this business four years ago, okay? Like just make these mental notes because it it really truly, every single time, social media is so, so powerful, so powerful, but it's powerful because it's you, you're being authentic, right? If you go on my page and everyone does their business different. If you go on my page, and I think I shared this two weeks ago when James and uh, I were on here. If you go there, you don't know the name of my products and you don't know the name of the company I'm with, right? I'm not saying it's a pro or a con. People can do what they want, but there's like, I, it, that's authentic to me because that's how I want to run my business. I want people coming to Ashley Paulson, not going to google.com. Not going to the Partner Co. website and just ordering it off there, right? I want them to come to me for questions. Mm -hmm. And so it's being authentic and really just truly finding out how you want to build your business. Gotcha. So do you want to? Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting in the group. You're building relationships. So guys, everyone's homework today. Find a couple of groups in your community and join them and start posting something that's relevant maybe to that um start commenting on other people basically make relationships like that so get mm -hmm. that off the ground now you're in there ashley and now is the key so so now that you've built enough trust and i would say um you don't have to be in something for years necessarily build trust no. It's, no. it's a it's a connection thing right so we go in there and just start adding 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 connect and then there's a point so now we're going to get into the shift how did you start to think, okay, I'm going to promote my business in here. And then what did you do? Absolutely. So really, yeah, don't, you don't have to be in it for years. I'm just saying the perspective of it, right? I'm not saying go be a part of a group for four years before you start sharing what you have. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying it's powerful that I've been in there for four years. Now that I'm using the system of growth, I'm getting traction, right? So really what I've done in that group is obviously commenting, being supportive, that kind of stuff. But one thing that they do in this group, the admin does, is she does like a monthly promotion. So she do like November, November promotions and there'd be one post. Some groups might do this. Some groups might not. Right. This is really how I started sharing without like being spammy on the feed. OK, so I would go into some of those monthly promotion, that monthly post. She would put November promotions, put your business, your product, your service, all this stuff, right? Put it on this one post and then she would pin it to the top for the whole month. So if people were wondering if they wanted to go in that group, right? 
they could go in there and they could kind of scroll through different things. And I would do that consistently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some, sometimes I would have people ask questions, that type of stuff. Really where I got the most traction is where, and everyone's, every group's going to be different. Okay. Like I'm not saying every group's doing that. This group's just really amazing. And so is the admin. Um, and so really where I got the most traction was she had done this post about, she was going to start doing advertising within Mm -hmm. her group Mm -hmm. and you could be a part of the banner at the top. So like she goes in and you can pay to have like something at the top of the banner Um, The cover photo, I guess is what I should call it. You could pay to put it as a cover photo with your information. uh, Or you could pay on that like November promotions. You could pay to like have your picture there. So every time someone went there, they would see your information. Mm. And so I had just reached out to her and I actually went back and got all the, the dates and stuff because I want, it's another thing where it's perspective. We all want like an overnight success. We all want every box of drops to lead us a huge business builder, right? Like we all want that instant. And that's not how it, that's not always how it works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like 90, I don't know. I'm not going to give a percentage. I'm just saying that's not how it always works. Is this a good lead generation? Is this a good place to start people? 150%. Mm -hmm. But what I had done was I reached out to her when she started doing this advertising thing. And I had reached out to her on August 29th, okay, Mm -hmm. it's November 18th right now, August 29th, I reached out to her, I sent her a private message, and I said, hey, I'd love to know more about that advertising you posted in the group, because I wanted to, I would pay to do the the cover photo, or Mm -hmm. I would pay to do the bottom one, Mm -hmm. so we were talking back and forth, and she sent me the information, I told her what I wanted to do, and I sent her, um, she goes, oh, well, what is it, and so I sent her the uh, information, I send her some of the product fact sheets and she's like, I might, I might be actually interested in this. And I was like, what? I'm like, okay. And she goes, would you be willing to trade? Mm. And she goes, would you be willing to trade if I do a box of drops and you can do the promotion in the group, the advertising? And I was like, absolutely. Right. She was interested in the product because she had saw the product fact sheet. I gave her the information, but I still kept it simple. Mm. Okay. So I gave her that information, ended up getting her her box of drops right before we went to Orlando. Hmm. Put a one in the comments if you were in Orlando and that was the best event ever, right? Like it feels like forever ago already. I'm like, can we have another one already? Um, Yes, it was an absolutely amazing event. But that's when I sent her her box of drops. Right before Orlando, September 10th is when I sent it. Hmm. Okay, so over two months ago. Okay. So same thing. I treated her just like my customer following up. Do you have any questions? What's going on? I plugged her into circle of health. She's like, I love this group. It focuses on nutrition. It focuses on people being healthy, but she saw the support that we have there, right? Which is so important. Make sure you're plugging your people in a circle of health, but make sure when you're putting them in there, you're tagging them in the things for that they can be successful. At the top is that video of Dr. Crystal. At the top is the FAQs. At the top is the 100-page recipe cookbook, okay? Tag them in those things so they set they set themselves up for success right off the bat, okay? So they're automatically set up for success. Also, one little plug I want to put in there just because I'm the admin of that group. Love on each other in there, okay? There's a lot of different people at a lot of different places. We can be so critical sometimes when we've been on the drops and we're the perfectionists for the last eight years, but that could be someone's first day. So give each other love in there and realize people, it could be their first day, Mm. right? They don't want to know possibly every single list of every ingredient that they shouldn't be having. That's going to freak them out. Okay. Mm. So I just want to say that because we literally have 199 people on here this morning. We w- we're we almost at 200. Someone write someone on their teams and get them oh, on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I looked up. I was like, yes, text some of your team members and tell them to get on this call because they're missing out. I just want to break 200. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not joking. Text your team. No, I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> so plug them into that group, but give each other a lot of grace. Okay. I know a lot of people, like I said, we, we know sucralose is bad. We know a lot of different things, but like respond back with 
grace. Respond back with love. Okay. Always be loving in that group. I have no problem telling someone or removing someone if they're not being nice. Okay. I'm the admin. I can do that. I love you all, but be nice to each other. Um, anyway, that's my soapbox because I've seen a little bit of it lately. So I just had to put that little plug in there. Okay. So she started on the drops. She loved them. Um, I kept being in conversation with her and I said, you know, she goes, if I love these, it might be something I want to do, but obviously I'll have some more questions. And I was like, absolutely. I'm here to, you know, any way I can help you, whatever, still keeping it simple. Right. All right, guys, we just broke 200. Um, still keeping it very, very simple. So she actually was right. She's just like all of us. We were all a little bit skeptical at a point in time. Every mm-hmm. single one of us. There's still people who are skeptical to get on that box of drops. Mm-hmm. Okay. Give them the tools that you have. Um, so center the box right before a lander on 910. What we've created is after she started taking the drops, mm. there's a lot of groups, especially in women's moms groups, that kind of stuff that are talking about the shots. Mm. Okay. Everyone has their own opinion on the shots. I'm not here to say it's a pro or a con that's like you do you I'll support you hundred percent. But I do also know that I have something that's all natural mm. that also helps with a lot of things that those help with, but they're all natural. Okay. So what she did is after she started taking the drops and started seeing results and started loving them, she would go in when she saw these posts and she would tag me. Ashley Paulson has these amazing null natural drops, right? Right. She would tag me in there. And then I would go through and literally simply, because these people are not your friends. So Mm -hmm. one tip that I want to share with you is respond back in the comments. Mm. and say thanks for commenting i'll send you information in a pm you Mm. might have to check your other inbox folder Mm. right because it's going to go to their message requests it's not going to go to their normal inbox because you are not friends with them Mm. so in your comment always say check your other inbox folder Mm. because you're not going to go directly into their inbox you're going to go to their message requests Mm. okay So always keep that in mind when you're in groups like that, or you're talking to people who you're not mute, like friends with. Mm. So I would comment on there and I was like, check your other inbox folder. I would send them a message and I would send script one. What are the drops? Mm. I always say script one. I would send what, what are the drops, which is script one. Okay. Some of them see it. Most of them do when you say it's going to go in their other inbox. There's a handful of people who don't ever open that message because they don't know where to look. That's fine. Mm. not everyone from that post is going to purchase a box of drops from you. I've sold the 52 in there, but I've had like a lot of people who have commented and they're like, just not right now, maybe in the future, maybe it's just right. Everyone has their own objections and you have to be okay with that. If you were to guess actually around how many, uh, if there's a ratio, have you noticed anything? Is it like five respond, one might buy 10 respond and one might buy anything like that? Um, I don't really have a ratio just because everyone's different. I mean, a lot of people do go in there and see the message right away, but you do probably have, I mean, I would probably say one or two out of 10, maybe. Okay. Guys, um, I hope you get this. This is, this is so huge because sometimes we think, oh, no one's buying from me. No one's interested. But the reality of what Ashley said is let's say 10 are interested. One will buy. Like that's very normal, right? So if you're getting one of 10, Jim Run says a ratio will appear. As long as you have a ratio, you know what it is. You you, you can make millions of dollars. So yep. awesome. Keep on going. Yep. And I, I see Sandy. So what you're going to do, Sandy, is in the comment of the post, you're going to reply to them in the post. And you're going to say, I'll send you more information. You might have to check your other inbox. You just send them a normal message. Hmm. Your message will go through normally, but they have to go to their message requests because it doesn't show up directly in their inbox. So You just send the normal message with the script like you do. So she started tagging me on these posts and I finally got to a point where I was like, do you want to do this with me? Like she kind of had expressed a little bit of interest. Like if she loved it, right. She would put those referrals in there for me, which I absolutely loved and adored, but I'm like, this is your group. Why? Like, 
I appreciate the referrals, right? Referrals are so, so important. If you have people on boxes of drops, their referrals are just as much as important as anyone else's. Okay. But she was a little bit interested in this and she's like, I have a lot of questions. I was like, let's chat. Right. And I know every time she reaches out to me, she's like, I have some more questions. I'm like, I got you girl. Right. Like help your people, help your customers, help your team. Mm. Okay. So she had done a post and like, oh, I don't even know. I should have went back and counted the responses. There was so many on this post. Mm. So many. And I literally reached out to her and I was like, do you want there to get them their box of drops from me or from you? And she goes, I want to do it. She's like, let's do it. Right. Like she believed, like she just took the jump, but like faith, like just jumped and leaped. Right. Yeah. And I'm so happy she did. Cause I'm actually going to have her share. And so I asked her about the advertising on August 29th. Mm. I sent her a box of drops on September 10th. She just mm. enrolled on November 6th. Okay. Give your people time, right? Meet them where they're at. Just because someone does a box of drops does not mean they're going to be ready to enroll and rock this business in 28 days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would it be great if every single one did? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's like, give yourself grace and let the process work. But you also have to work the process. Mm -hmm. If I want to follow it up with her, if I went to help plug her into circle of health, if I went to help answer her questions, she would not have trusted me. She would have not known me any different than Anthony Moreland or James Zhang. They're fabulous people, but she, like she wouldn't have known me any different. You have to build the trust with your people, but it starts with the box of drops. Mm. All of this started right here, like right here. All of this started with what is what all every single person of you have in your hand. So... If we can bring my beautiful friend up here, Jules. This is Jules. Everyone meet Jules. Hello. Um, hello, girl. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good. I absolutely adore her. And honestly, like getting to know her over like we first started talking has been such a blessing. And it's one of those things where this what we have in our hands brings people like Jules into your life. And I love her. We talk every single day. I actually, when I had to go back and like figure out when we first started <laughs> talking, I was like, I had to scroll a long time to get back up. Yeah. So Jules, can you um, just share a little bit about like what you have experienced with the drops, what you're most excited about and kind of what's just helped you take that leap? Like what what made sense to you? And I know you had a lot of questions and a lot of people do. I had a lot of questions too. Um, but just yes. explain a little bit about like what you loved about the drops, what you loved about Circle of Health um, and kind of what made you kind of see the vision and get started. Yes, definitely. So a little bit about me is um, I actually live in Florida. I don't even live in the same state where Ashley and I are communicating in this group and these drops just came into my life they were just the right thing at the right time i actually needed even a little bit more time when ashley sent me the box of drops i had to wait about three weeks to start taking them because i was just finishing up nursing my third baby who's um, a little over a year old so um as soon as i was done i was like okay i want to take these drops because I've been trying to lose weight for over a year. Once you have the baby, that's always the biggest goal. And just nothing was budging. I could not lose weight. I've tried a lot of extensive things and I just kind of reached the end of myself and I was ready for some more help for sure. So I've tried all the natural things, eating well, exercising. And when I saw that these were homeopathic, all natural, plant-based, I was definitely interested. I love it. I love it. Um. So what made you kind of do the switch? I know, obviously, you've seen the people in the group with how much interest, right? I mean, you can go in a group. And once you start building that relationship with people, um, Jules really used this kind of as a referral. She's like, Ashley has this, you know, and I think this last post, it really just clicked because you're like, I'm liking these. I'm having results. Um, what really clicked for you? It was just, yeah. Yes. As far as the drops. Just kind of like switching over to maybe more of the business. Like I know we talked yesterday yes. and you're like, I just want to help people, right? Yeah. So 
my intentions were really pure at first. Like I get someone to fill the ad space. Um, you get to share your drops. I want to try them. And when I saw them actually working for me, um, and I just want to commend Ashley too. I didn't realize that you had created the boards until now. That's huge. I That's incredible. They're a really that's helpful good. tool. And I also want to commend Ashley. Uh, my group has the most rules that you have ever seen in a group. I mean, I have very specific rules and a lot of posts get declined and Ashley is not posting and she's not able to post in this group to self promote. But there's ways that we are circumventing my very strict rules to um, to get to a, a place where we can plug these. So I just wanted to commend Ashley for that. So why I decided to go ahead and jump in was our advertisement space was over. I had nothing else to gain from Ashley and I just kept plugging her. And every, and, uh, every time I would just mention her, tag her, mention the drops, she'd say, thanks, here's the info I have. I saw her getting all of these replies, all of these messages. And I'm like, well, if I'm helping you sell the drops, I may as, I want a little bit of a cut of this here. You know, I'm making someone else all this money and I, I just got a free box of drops. Like I want in on this. <laughs> I love that. She's and like, give me my out, cut. Yeah. Right. And you pointed out to me, we use the group to plug an event. Um, and you pointed out to me that someone came to your event, she's going to buy four boxes. And you mentioned to me that you were willing to put someone that was going to buy four boxes under me. So I had nothing to lose. I was like, well, I'm already going to be making, I don't even know how much, but something I have nothing to lose, really. So I was definitely interested after that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's one of the things that we so Jules used to live here locally. Um, yes. That's how she created this group. And now she snowbirds in Florida, which I'm really jealous. I'm like, yeah. her, and, her and Crystal down there in Florida in the sunshine, I'm going to be hopefully visiting there a lot more soon. But um, so she still runs this group. And something that I love that we've created and every everything's going to be a little bit different, right? It's just like she said, like, you can't go in there and just put your put your product, put your stuff in there. Like, I literally would go in there when people would comment about the shots or I'm having thyroid issues or right. I would go in there. I would put that body balancing image on there that has a star, mm -hmm. right? Cause I want them to come to me. Okay. I would put that information in there and I would say, you know, write a little bit of what it does like two sentences. And I would put PM me or comment. If you want more information, people would comment. And then that's when you go through and you reply to the comments and you send them messages something that's been really powerful in that group for specifically with Jules and I, um, right? Like this is a blessing. Like you're not always going to have that admin of your group be on the same page with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone out there, like this is a possibility of what can happen. I had no idea that this would be happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's the relationship that I created with Jules and she created with me. We built a trust factor there, right? Like we're building that relationship, but something that she's done is, we're still using it as a referral system. Mm. So when people are commenting, she's seeing comments in there about people with the shots or whatever they're commenting on. And she puts, Ashley Paulson has these all natural drops. I've had a result with them. She'll put her before and after. If you want more information, comment. I'll go through. And I start a three-way message with me and her and with me and Jules and the person. And I send them script one. Okay. I send them script one, but now Jules is in the conversation because now Jules is the one who's getting bulk shipments. So they're going to send Jules the Venmo. I'm here locally. So they can either do the pickup from me or drop off or she can ship them. Okay. So we've really created an amazing team here. And I know like our process is still evolving, but we are getting it. We're perfecting <laughs> it. Um, So Jules, how many, and I have this number, if you don't, how many 10 packs, or how many boxes of drops have you sold? I think 42. 42. Unless I was low on your number. On nope. the Windsor Moms. Okay. <laughs> nope. Yeah. 42, right? When Since, you're or Yeah. So amazing. And so Since November 6th, I think. November 6th. Yeah. 
12 days, 42 boxes. Guys, every 10 equals $500 of profit, at least. So that's at least $2,000 in retail profit in 12 days. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Literally 42 boxes. And I talked to Jules yesterday and she's like, I just want to help more people. I just want to help more people. I know these work. I know, I know with holidays coming up, I know with the transformation coming up. I just want to help more people. Yeah. Right. And I told her yesterday, I said, when you get that in your heart and it's about helping people and not about what you're making, that's when you're going to make the mind shift change. That's when you're truly going to start leading with love because you just want to help the next person. The money will come along with it. You just need to help more people. Right. So yeah, you're making $52 a box off each of those. So $2,100 that she's made in the last 12 days. Right. 2100. And that's out of her personal. That's out of some of the people in the group. Um, and I told her too, I said, every single person who's been on the drops out of that group, absolutely. I'm going to put them under her in the business. Like that's where I like, right. You still like creating that culture and stuff. And another thing too is, there's power in building in your communities because now what we're going to do is Ashley Paulson is going to start hosting a wellness social, a customer appreciation, right? You have those people already in your communities to pull them together for an at-home party. And now what you can do is have a community full of people having results. You can show them that they can buy three, get theirs for free. They can turn around, earn extra income if they want right? Like it, you just have like find different ways to be creative and find different ways to help people building in your own backyard. Right. Yeah. Um, if I can how, say something about that being yes. creative. So I, I am the admin of this group. I've had it about eight years. Um, I think we have about 3000 posts a month. It's a very busy group. Pe her posts could easily get buried. Ashley's never even posted about the drops. We are simply just responding to other people's questions. Like, like you look for cues, like I'm so tired or my who I need a thyroid doctor or what diet do you guys do? Like any possible thing that is related to health, you can plug something in the comments. And so me as an admin, I have a lot more patience for someone messaging me as an admin and saying, hey, I have this product, I do this event, how can I somehow within your rules, get this product into teach people about this product or get them into their hands, you know, like, um, we just have really strict rules and we're still able to implement things like I can't let you self promote, but I can let you host an event. It has to have a certain time, a certain day and a certain place. I don't care if they're just picking it up off your porch. That's that's a certain place, certain time, certain thing. So just don't be afraid to message the admin and say, hey, I want to follow your rules. We love that. And I want to. I, I just, I'm just trying to help people, you know, and I will give people little tips as to how they can, how they can do that. Yes, absolutely. And I do want to say, I've had a few people in the comments, so I do not post before and after pictures in there. I literally post the picture of the drops that has a star on it. If you go into boards under Slenderized System of Growth, it's in the host of post. Hmm. Right there. System mm -hmm. of everything is in boards, my friends. Everything is in boards, okay? Yeah. So it's in system of growth and that image right there, that homeopathic body balancing drops with, that's the only image I've ever posted in that group. Only image. Mm -hmm. I don't want to post before and after pictures because sometimes people are talking about thyroid and I don't want yeah. people to just think it's a weight loss thing because it's not, okay? Right. One last so thing for you. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. I was just going to say one more thing. Use your friends. If you have a neighborhood friend in the group, um, let's say we have a third friend. OK, um, I'm going to reach out to my friend and say, hey, can you ask in the mom's group for me? I'm looking for an all natural way to lose weight. Does anybody have any suggestions? That's not breaking <laughs> the rules. And then I get to say, hey, I have this friend, Ashley. 
what she's selling is working amazing for me here. I'm not afraid to share my before and after pictures. I think they're super effective. I've lost almost yes. 10 pounds in like 10 days. And that's working. That's my strategy is selling is uh, having people see my personal results, because I think mm -hmm. those are really powerful for me. Everybody's different. And so we have the third friend saying, asking the question, and then I get to say, here's what I'm doing that's working, but people don't really always want to hear it from you. You know, they, if I'm saying my friend sells this, I have nothing. It looks as though I have nothing to gain from it. Use your people, use your friends, utilize your friends and uh, your, your neighbor or something like that. If you need to give them a free box of drops or some incentive to, just get on your team with you do it because it'll pay back in spades. I love that. I love that. We're, we haven't even done that yet. I feel like all nope. the other ones have just, I was like, we might have to use that every once in a while. Yeah, exactly. Um, one last question for you. And I absolutely love everything you've shared. Um, how easy has it been with boards? And one quick thing. Um, I know that you've been sharing your before and after pictures in there. But like she's an admin and she's built the trust in that community, right? So when yes. I see her having results, I don't necessarily post that in there. I'm posting the image, but she goes up and follows up with her before and after because they trust her. They've seen her in there. She's the admin, right? So they're like, oh, she's having results. What are these? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and one last quick question before we, uh, I know we're going to talk about the Monday night call, James, but uh, one last question is. I know, obviously, you've sold the 42 boxes, but how has the system of growth with boards, how has that helped? What are your thoughts on it? Um, do you feel like you have all the tools? Does it feel like most of the scripts just kind of follow each other and it all makes sense? I just kind of want your feedback just starting and selling 42 boxes. Yes, definitely. I find the boards extremely helpful. That took such a load off for me because um, I have three kids. My husband's gone a lot. I was hesitant to start this business because I don't really want to be on my phone a lot more in front of my kids. But when I learned that I could pretty much push two buttons and send a whole conversation with people, that was incredible for me. Absolutely. And how I learned best about the product is I'll just send a board to myself. I'll text it to myself and then I'll read it. And I've learned a lot in that way, just about the product. If you're really trying to pick up about the product quickly, that's my biggest tip there. It's awesome. I love it. And I love how much success you're having. I'm so proud of you. Thank um, you. I'm so Yes. And I'm so happy of the friendship we're creating and just all the lives that you're changing. You're completely rocking it, my friend. Thank you. I'm enjoying it a ton. And um, I was just going to say one more thing, if I can find it, I, like you said, just create yourself in that group. Don't come in guns blazing, you know, just wait for the right time and don't push it on people. The product sells itself because it's effective. We, no one wants to be hammered with something. And we were just found, found our sweet spot with that. Utilize your friends. Absolutely. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you. Thank you. All right, James, let's close it out with the Monday night call. I know we were on a call yesterday. So let me, um, I'm going to recap my notes real quick, just so we got this. Guys, okay. um, the Jules and Ashley do incredible. Throw some some numbers in the chat or something. Like it's, okay, so this is what I got, Ashley, because I'm going to do this like right after this. Number one, I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm going to find some community groups that are local that I'm interested in, like, Basically, they're they're me, right? They're not just buy, sell, trade. I'm not going in with the business intention. I'm going in because I want to connect with like-minded people. So I'm not going to join a mom's group. You know? so that'd be really weird. I'm going to find something local, right? So number one, I'm going to do that. Number two, I'm going to start adding value. Just be a friend. Be a normal human being. Like, comment, be friends, and add some value to the group. Number three, and I love what you're doing here, Steve. Find the admin and start building a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. Build a friendship so that you know their rules and that also you can be just on their side of things. And then from there, look for opportunities where it makes sense and it respects the group. I love what Jules said. I thank you for sharing an admin's perspective mm -hmm. because Jules, like, this is what I want. That's how most admins think, by the way. It's the same exact thing. So play by their rules, and they're more than happy to help you as long as you know I'm not just coming in and just try to sell everything like that. Um, and you know what I caught from this, Ashley, is this, is that 
this business is not an overnight success thing. It's at least a 90 day game. The seeds you plant today, you won't see until 90 days from now. Mm -hmm. Like 90 in the comments, if that makes sense. Cause that removes a lot of pressure from me. I'm like, oh, I want it right now. We all want it right now, but I need to wait. But if I plant right now, then hey, February time, January time, have kind of that expectation. But is it worth it? I think it's worth it, right? To have a Jules and all the people that she's transforming now, worth 90 days, that patience and that nurturing throughout the process. I also thought, Ashley, that Jules isn't just going to join anyone. I think a big thing, Jules, correct me wrong. I think it's because she, she learned to trust you. She saw how you are with your group and with Circle of Health, with not even running the group, but I love your tip on adding value and Circle of Health, being positive. People watch how you are with other people, right? So I uh, have that. And then from there, there's going to come a point in time where the floodgates are going to break open, you know, mm -hmm. so. Ashley, did I miss anything? That's that's yeah. what I call it. I okay. love that. I love it. And it absolutely recaps it all. Um, I didn't go to Jules right away when I went in the group. I'm not saying you shouldn't or you should. Um, that relationship and what I created just happened authentic, right? She posted about the advertising. I just asked her about it. The stars aligned. And that's kind of just where it all felt. And so I think just like Jules and I, like, and even James, like with the recap, be authentic. Like go in there and just be your true self. Don't go in there with the intentions of joining to go sell a hundred boxes of drops. If that happens over time, absolutely. But it is a process, right? I mean, every single box of drops opens it up to that next net network. Um, and you never really know where it will lead, but give yourself time. We talked about that a few weeks ago, okay? You have to be okay with all three of those things. People just buying the box of drops, people just wanting the discount and people wanting that extra income. Jules? I just wanted to add one more thing. Um, so I've had the group eight years. We've done the self-promotion post for a long time. We get hundreds of comments in the self-promotion post every month because uh, everybody has something that they're offering. Just about a huge mm -hmm. amount of people in my group have something to offer and never once ever, ever have I ever been interested in anything that someone has offered in the comments ever. I don't care about any of the stuff that they're offering. And truly the graphic that Ashley posted, it's appealing. It's who doesn't want to balance their hormones or lose weight. I never want any of the stuff that someone has to offer. That's why I created the self-promotion post because I don't want to see that stuff on the feed. Most of the time I was shoving everybody in a corner to just here, look over here or just you guys go over there. I don't want you on the main feed. So that's how attractive the product is. People want this. People need this. Don't be afraid to introduce it to people. I Thanks. love that. You rock. I love you, my friend. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> All right, James. Monday night right. call, Black Friday. Guys, we have the biggest... <laughs> We just got off a call and we heard about all the specials that are coming out. And I'm telling you, normally in network marketing, holidays are typically slower. The, not these holidays, guys. Mm -mm. These holidays are when people's lives are going to transform. If you play this holiday strategy wisely, you and your people are going to be sitting at Christmas dinner being extra, extra thankful because... <laughs> The specials are amazing. So here's the biggest mission we have for everybody. This call Monday, lock this in, North America, we are going to be officially unveiling the Black Friday specials, the Cyber Monday, what's going on. And Ashley, when you saw it, I'm curious, what was your, what was your feeling when you saw what's coming out? Oh, it's so exciting. I am just ecstatic because I know that this is going to, obviously help a lot of people, but it's also going to just a little plug, maybe possibly help um, your customers, maybe make another decision to just see what we have, right? Um, really, really excited for the Black Friday sales, but this call, literally, I like, I we if we can have 200 people on a Saturday morning call, I want a thousand people on Monday night. Let's go. 200 on Saturday. Let's make it a thousand on Monday, okay? This call is going to be massive. And the more people you're plugging into the Monday night call, right? This is the corporate call that we have every Monday. 
Um, we're going to be showing you what the Black Friday sales are. And they're fabulous. They're fabulous for you, but it's important to get every single person on your team. So they're seeing the sales, the Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales as well. Okay. Get every single person you can on this call on your team. Every person. The more people you get on this team or get on this call, literally the bigger your paycheck is going to grow. Okay. Take advantage of these sales. The company is doing everything for us. All we have to do it is get it in front of people's eyes. And the more people who do, who do that are going to have more success. Um, There's a question in the chat. Someone asked, uh, should I bring customers to this as well too? I wouldn't, but this is not a customer call. Mm -hmm. This is a brand partner call, but you know what I would do? Convert them now so they can become a partner and then plug them into this. They're going to want to take a look at that. Yes. And another thing with this too, um, about the Monday night call that I want to talk about is this is obviously like James said, just for brand partners, this is our corporate call, right? So these are, we're going to see the specials. We're going to see the black Friday sales. We're going to see the cyber Monday sales. Um, but I know that there's been a lot of buzz on the VIP lists. Okay. If you're in our company and you're mutual friends with everyone, you're, it's all in your feed. <laughs> okay. Like we're creating a buzz right now, but you need to create a buzz with the eyeballs on your Facebook. We can take that down, James. Um, I want you to, between now and Monday or now and Tuesday or now before all these sales come out, I want you to create a buzz on your social media about getting on your VIP list. Okay. Copy one of those flyers. Start just writing on a piece of notebook. Like just write on a notebook. You don't have to do anything fancy, but what you're going to do is start creating that VIP list so you can get them that information when the Black Friday sales come out and Cyber Monday, right? And the holiday catalog and the transformation throwdown that's coming out, right? Like right now is a time to be creating your VIP list. I did this um, just five days ago, okay? And I just created this on Canva. Like you don't even have to have a picture of you in here. Just do something of you with the VIP list. Like hold up a notebook or a VIP something or do something get creative okay you don't all, like that post was great it took me five minutes in Canva to do it if you don't know how to do Canva don't do a flyer create something like create something that looks exciting go find something on Google that says VIP or something right like just use your resources but start creating that list because the more people you have on your VIP list to get them the Black Friday sales to get them the Cyber Monday right? The more your business is going to grow and the more people you have on your team who are doing it, the more your business is going to grow, the more people we're going to help. Just like I said, we have the holiday catalog coming up right after that. And then all of you who have been around for quite some time, we know with that we have the transformation throwdown happening at the beginning of the year, right? So create that list because there's a lot of different things in the next few months that could totally, totally transform your business. Love it. Ashley, Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Jules, thank you for being a superstar. Yes, Jules, and, thank, thank you so much. Absolutely. And thanks for being behind the scenes and doing amazing. Guys, if you guys got value from today, give us some waves or throw a 10 in the comments. I got my notebook filled, Ashley. Thank you for <laughs> selfishly allowing this to be a, a personal mentorship session. I got a ton from this personally. So take action, guys. Pack Monday. And on that, congratulations on being superstars on November 18th on a Saturday. We reached 200 lines. Let's pack Monday and let's go spread the love. All right, guys. Have Thank a great you guys so much. Love you guys.